This is KIOM News Channel 46 at 5 o'clock. Good evening and thank you for joining us for KION News at 5. I'm Austin Castro. We begin with UC Santa Cruz looking much quieter today after police were brought in to disband the pro-Palestinian protesters on campus. Both entrances to the school are now back open. KION's Brianna Matha has been speaking with students about their reaction to everything that has unfolded. She joins us now live from UC Santa Cruz. Brianna. So right now, I'm actually on Bay and High Drive, which is where the protesters were for the past month, I want to say. And right behind me, they're no longer here. And students I spoke to told me their reaction to the entrances being open. The main entrance no longer has signs or barricades. Cars and, st cars and students are able to go through. And now that the entrances have been re reopened, students are adjusting. Protesters began blocking the main and west entrances Tuesday until law enforcement was called in early Friday morning. One student I explained, one student explained how he is navigating the campus after the temporary closures. I'd say now that the main entrances are open, it's much more like free for cars to get in and out. It's nice and all that. Um, it's also great that they're open because like students also need to get off campus. As students make their final push towards the end of the year, classes have been online since Wednesday. They may be back in person this week. The school says as of now, they don't have a date for when that will happen. Now, according to UCSC, the 80 students that were arrested also received a citation, which means that they aren't going to be allowed on campus for the next 14 days. Reporting in Santa Cruz, Brianna Mathal, KIOWN News, Channel 46. Thank you so much, Brianna. Now, UCSC says plans for commencement have not changed. They also have a resource guide available to students who received a citation. We have the link over for that on our website, newschannel46.com.